9-11 was an unforgettable day of loss and a time to rely on faith. A Catholic church near Ground Zero in New York remained open as first responders gave the ultimate sacrifice. Correspondent Mark Irons reports. These are images that I close my eyes and I can see them. It doesn't go away. 20 years later, many can still vividly recall that horrific day. A seven-year-old Catholic school student in Brooklyn at the time, Teresa Heyer, remembers burning office papers swirling around outside her upstairs classroom. They had blown over the water from lower Manhattan. Heyer and her second grade classmates ran to their window. And we just saw a huge cloud of smoke over the river. And it was the Twin Towers. And we just stared there and we watched and then all of a sudden, the second plane, we saw a plane go in. By that time, firefighters at Engine Company 10 across the street from the World Trade Center were responding, including Lieutenant Greg Atlas. You know, it was no question. He just picked up his gear and, and ran in. James West now points out his uncle's name, etched on the memorial where the South Tower once stood. Greg Atlas was one of the 343 firefighters who died to save others that day. Somebody that my uncle actually saved in, in, in the tower. Um, he asked him, he asked my uncle what his name was, and he said, you know, Atlas. Just a couple blocks from the World Trade Center, St. Peter's Church was used as a relief station in the days following the attack. Firefighters and police officers would come here to rest, regroup, have a moment of silence or prayer before going back to ground zero. A piece of landing gear from one of the hijacked planes was ripped off on impact and fell on St. Peter's roof. A priest, Father Francis Grogan, died on board one of those flights. And it was here at St. Peter's that the body of Fire Department Chaplain Father Michael Judge was carried. He was killed by falling debris in the North Tower lobby as he prayed for rescuers and victims. They brought his body to the altar. William Alvarado, the maintenance manager here at St. Peter's since before 9-11, says the church was more than willing to help first responders. I just think it was just the right thing to do, right? We're a church. Uh, so our doors stood open. But even now, 20 years later, he says things haven't completely returned to normal. It took a long time for it to be built back up. You know, I know certain people that still don't come, you know, to this part of town. 9-11 memorials now stand outside the doors, including statues of St. Joseph to honor those who perished working inside the towers and St. Michael the Archangel, the patron saint of police officers. For these three Catholics who lived through 9-11, they are forever changed. I think I, like a lot of other kids, had to do a lot of growing up that day to understand what was happening. Their trust in God continues to guide them. But you have to keep carrying on. And with your faith on your side, it helps you get through each day. And they will never forget. I said if we just come together, I think uh, we can slowly get by these hard times. In New York City, Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly.